we met a young deaf blind girl who just composed a special song as a tribute to the royal children. Her name was Janice Revel from Exmouth. Since then, she has appeared in ITV's network program Highway with Sir Harry Seacombe. And as we reported two months ago, Janice won a scholarship and continues to compose more music. All this, remember, with almost no hearing or sight. On top of her musical studies, Janice is doing very well with her academic subjects, as Peter found out when she visited us earlier this week. When we last spoke, Jan, you were off to college. How did you get on? And start with, I got one difficulty, and that was communication. And I was given the job of teaching all the staff and the students, well, some of the students, and my alphabet. But once I got past that barrier, it was absolutely super. And I got the first Braille to help me as well, along with my studies. Versa Brailler. What's that? It's a computer, really. Um, it's a computerised tape recorder, actually, that converts C60 cassettes into book form. And you can write chapters and pages on them. You just store Braille information, it comes back in Braille. But there's up to 400 ordinary Braille pages can be stored on one C60 cassette and cut, cut down an awful amount of bulk, where books are concerned. That must have been an expensive item. Was it? Very expensive. Um, thousands of pounds. And I'd been longing for it for about three or four years, but couldn't get help. And then when we moved down to Devon, People around the Exmouth area all um, started concerts and things to raise the money for me. It's terrific. Now, what sort of college are you going to? Um, it's a college basically for physically handicapped people. But the, it's just a further education college. There are people there with sight problems, and I think there's one of the student with a hearing problem. And what subjects are you studying? Uh, I'm studying for A101 Foundation Arts Open University course, and it involves a little of history, religion and music, as well as literature. Now, you said before that Deafness is your worst disability. Do you stick to that? I certainly do. It's a great pressure to have people who talk to you, all around you, all of the time, and having them shouting at you. But when you've taught them the manual alphabet, like I did, the stuff is a great weight off it. Now, apart from your studies, what other activities have you been doing? Well, in June, I went off to Switzerland with a group for deafblind. Um, had a super holiday with boating and things like that, came back, and then I went gliding with the young lions in Cheltenham. Um, I think that's, oh, the swimming too, plenty of swimming. I go about three times a week. That's about it. What was the gliding like? Super, fantastic, especially the, the going up. Mm. Absolutely terrific, really exhilarating. And you've You've won a scholarship. Tell us about that. Well, there's a trust in Jersey, and when they saw me on the Harry Seacombe programme with my music, they phoned up and said, 
would you would Jan like to learn how to arrange your own music? And they are sponsoring me for £750, I think it is, to learn to arrange my own music. You have brought along your keyboard. So what are you going to play for us? Um, I'm going to play one of my own compositions, which came to me the other night just out of the blue when I was singing in the bathroom. <laughs> it's called Thunderhead. Thank you, Jan. likes to compose most of her own music and here she is now playing something you will recognize. 